This audio fanfic is rated T, which is the same as a movie rating of PG-13, parental guidance recommended for all children under 13. This should be suitable for teenagers and adults. For more information on what the rating means, please go to www.esrb.com. The Fountain Disclaimer. I do not own anything in relation to Tolkien's published works. All in silver was he clad, and upon his shining helm there was set a spike of steel pointed with a diamond, and as his esquire took his shield it shimmered as if it were bedewed with drops of rain that were indeed a thousand studs of crystal. The Unfinished Tales, page 51. The sound of ringing swords pierced the air. All around him the vacant eyes of his fellow soldiers stared silently in all directions, leaving him no rest from their haunted and still surprised gazes. He stared back caught in their penetrating stare and mesmerized by the fair faces that were now lax and ashen. It had not been long ago that those same faces were lit with the warmth of Gondolin. The reek of Morgoth filled his nose, and if his strength had allowed, he would have gagged at the foul odor. Beside him lay the smoldering and still steaming body of a Balrog, its hideous face twisted into an image of evil and anger. Shining silver within its chest was his helmet, having been driven in despair into the creature's body at the final stroke of battle. Choking on the water that swelled into his mouth and nose as he sank further into the fountain, Ecthelion felt tears escape from his eyes. Above him, the chimneys of smoke raised from the burning of his home obscured the sky. A single banner, burned and frayed, waved dismally in the wind. His dark and long hair drifted to the surface, obscuring his view of the skies. His ears no longer were pierced by the screams of children, of men defending their homes of women fighting to their last breaths. The sound of the fountain's water filled his ears, and through the haze of red that emitted from his body into the cool waters, he thought he could see white shores and far-reaching waters. The End